The state individual wrestling tournament opens on Thursday at the Kohl Center, and with eight wrestlers, the Bayport Pirates will be very well represented again. Dan Koob explains. One year ago, eight Bayport Pirates entered the Kohl Center for state championships. None left with an individual gold medal. Last year was kind of some guys went down expecting, you know, it was nice to go to state, but this year we want to take home some hardware. I think this year the big thing is, you know, some of the guys that were down there last year that did medal, you know, they've, they've gotten the third, they gotten the fourth, so, you know, that gives them that extra edge knowing what it takes to medal. Chase Farr finished third last year at 126 pounds and has formulated a new attack for his fourth turn at state in 2014. Now that I've been down there a couple times, it's just like a, a plan. Now you get there, boom, 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 boom. You got everything in a line on what to do and how to get it done. Bayport has tied a school record sending eight individual qualifiers to state the most in Division I, which fits this program perfectly because the team will be heading to Madison as well. You're only as good as your partner is. I mean, it's got to be iron on iron. You got to be going back and forth, and your partner's got to be there to let you know what you need to improve on, and you got to be there for them as well. If anyone understands the value of pushing teammates, it's Alec Ingold, the 195 pound junior, is also the Pirates' quarterback on the football field. Everyone in here gives you the atmosphere. You're still midseason, you're still working hard to get better. If we have battles in here every day, they'll be ready for those individual battles on Saturday and Friday and so forth. Bayport's semifinal appearance last year was their best team performance since 1983. In Swamico, Dan Koob, NBC. NBC 26.